Welcome back, I'm Christian and today we're back working on the Spree. We got some new parts in. Got some leg shields off eBay. I literally just bought all the cheapest plastics I can get. And then uh, some side panels that are pretty beat up. They need to be repainted, but we'll do that later. New tires, new tubes, and a new beefed up rear shock. Those are from Treatland.tv. So uh, we'll get going and get everything thrown on. Well, um, the brakes on this thing are like dragging or they're kind of kind of funky. So we're gonna pop that off and inspect that and then we'll get the tire changed out too. Um, on this side, we've got a 12 millimeter wrench and on the other side, we have a 17. get some brake cleaner and spray the inside of this drum you can see it's pretty like kind of rusty and uh, so we'll spray it and then we'll get some sand sandpaper in there and uh, get it get it cleaned up sandpaper I had on hand was these adhesive discs so I mean it's still sandpaper so it doesn't matter um, you just kind of want to get in there get some of that rust out of there you can see all that stuff it's taking off so uh, I'm gonna keep doing that and then we'll come back see in here how much better it cleaned up it's still not perfect but I know I'm gonna have these wheels off again to probably do some drums on it so we'll save it for then but for now it looks pretty good now we're gonna work on getting this tire off of course we're gonna need to take off the tube just a 12 millimeter nut right here get that loosened up And then start releasing our air. There's a Schrader valve in here. You just press down on it and it'll start letting the air out. Push the bead down, get that bead broken, flip it over, we'll do the same thing on the other side. Next, grab your tire spoons. You can do it with flathead screwdrivers, but tire spoons are best, they're cheap. Just buy some, you'll use them. With the flathead screwdriver, a lot of times you'll pinch a tube or something like that and just makes for more of a headache than it already is.
now it's off. I'm gonna spray it down, get it cleaned up, and then uh, we'll start working on uh, getting the new tire on. We got our tire and tube now. First thing I like to do is uh, put a little air in your tube and then we'll feed it inside the tire with a little air in there. It's just a lot easier not to uh, pinch it. So we'll do that. You'll want to look for the direction of the tire, which is an arrow pointing right here. So since this one's going to be on the front, it's going to be like this. Um, this is our brake drum side, which is on the right hand side of the bike if you're staying on top of it. So we got to make sure our tire goes on like this. Now we'll feed in our valve stem. Get that in place. Start working on getting it on the brim. Okay, that was kind of a pain in the ass. So, got tire mounted now though. So, we're gonna throw the drum back in and then uh, hook up our brake cable again and get everything back together. Tires all on, good to go. Uh, I want to work from front to back, so next thing we're going to do is put on our new leg shields.
was cleaning this thing off, look what I found underneath. It's like a pocket knife, I guess? I don't know, it's rusted shut, but I guess if you need to, you know, get in a fight while you're on your spree, you're good to go. It's starting to look like a real scooter now. Leg shields are on, floorboard back on. And then we got our side covers and our rear tire to throw on and the new shock. But it's getting late, I'm gonna call it a night. Tomorrow we'll come back and finish up the rest. Okay, we're back. First thing I wanna do, we're gonna pop this exhaust off so we can get our rear wheel off get our tire changed out, and then uh, after that we'll work on getting our shock replaced. We got our new tire all mounted up, looking good. And then next we're gonna do our new shock. Um, it's just a 12 millimeter bolt here, and then a 14 millimeter bolt here, and that should pop off, and we'll do the new one up. So uh, I'll do that and we'll come back.
All right, we got the new shock on. Time to throw on the rear tire, the exhaust, and then um, take it on a test ride because I've never actually ridden this thing. So uh, this will be the first time. Got a little carried away last night when I got it running. Took it outside. Was just gonna do a little lap around the neighborhood, but then it was running good, so I just kept riding. So now we're back, it's the next day. I wanna throw the side covers on and then uh, hopefully get out and go ride some more. done the plastics are on new tires new tubes um, these plastics pretty beat up got the cheapest ones I could on eBay just to put something over it so it didn't look so janky a lot of little tabs on it are broke so then like up here I just drilled two holes and put a zip tie because these little tabs are broken and even up here I'm probably gonna do the same but that's gonna do it for now um, hopefully next time you see this thing it will be uh, out riding. So uh, thanks for watching.